Hello to all my fellow Western governors and welcome to all of you who are joining virtually today. I know that the WGA is going to hold this event in person in the near future and I'm excited and humbled to serve as the Western Governors Association's Vice Chair next year. We all recognize that the last year has been unlike any time that we have experienced and that goes even more so for us as governors. We've endured a pandemic once in a century, a historic economic recession, even an attack on democracy itself. It's tested our resolve, our bonds of commonality, and our ingenuity. Here in the West, multiple crises ignited our long-standing creativity around how we can make a better world, starting right here in the American West. You know, and we know that we also are suffering from record fire seasons. In fact, the word fire season doesn't even capture it because it's a lot longer than it used to be. There's hope. In the aftermath of the national election, we're seeing the continued rise of uh, social justice-oriented civic engagement from all sides. And in all of our roles as governors representing millions, and of course also as mothers, fathers, friends, and neighbors, we've all had to show great grit, determination, and generosity in the face of hardship and loss. And this response has manifested itself in so many awe-inspiring ways throughout every level of government in the West. Early on in this pandemic, we learned, of course, we're safer outdoors, the great vast outdoors of the West, where naturally occurring opportunities to practice social distancing make us all physically, mentally, and spiritually healthier. Today, the opportunity to head west is a great escape. You can choose your own adventure on a renowned public lands, and access to open spaces is more sought after than ever before. But record visitation also takes a toll on our public lands and the wildlife already hanging in balance due to a changing climate. And the same tourist uh, driving towns also experience higher rates of COVID-19 that stressed rural health systems. Our natural areas uh, also have helped increase uh, the amount of time that we're able to spend outdoors, um, enjoying one another across our great country. Look, we all want a more resilient future, not just returning to normalcy or getting back to business as usual. We want more and better jobs, better education, stronger economy, more equitable economy, and of course, an even stronger partnership across the American West to develop resilient communities. I'm proud that here in Colorado, we're working closely with our local leaders to really craft practical solutions that meet the needs of our diverse communities. And with the legislature, we've already enacted a host of recovery-focused pieces of legislation as we embark on a bold, ambitious, and holistic recovery. Using state stimulus funds, we're investing nearly $800 million into key segments of our economy, from unemployment insurance to housing relief to rural broad broadband to implementing our state's water plan uh, to help reduce the risk of fire, just to name a few. In the process of allocating uh, the American Recovery Plan Act money, we're also working to help our hardest hit communities and sectors in developing a roadmap that invests in our heavily impacted public lands and wildlife. These once in a generation, one time funds can catalyze long term sustainable investment in broadband, in roads, in bridges, in water, improving the quality of life and building on Colorado and the American West's competitive advantage. Our overall approach focuses on making one time strategic investments in what we know makes Colorado great our people, our small businesses quality of life, our public lands, while also holding back a prudent amount of the funds to ensure we have the resources to adapt with our recovery and a strong state budget. We're looking forward to a future that includes both adversity and opportunity as we anticipate a rapidly growing and changing West, warming climate, more, more stress on the water supply, and the need to make equity central to the work we do. Well, this last year was certainly one for the books, and I trial, I think that we can all agree that we don't want to have to face again. The West's resilience and Colorado's resilience, our innovative frontier spirit, have left me more, more hopeful than ever for our future and what we can accomplish together. We've made great progress against all, all odds, and that's in no part due to the benefits of collaboration. With that in mind, I'm thankful for the close relationships and partnerships that WGA fosters. And I look forward to all of the opportunities on the horizon, working with the Western governors and all of you. Thank you.